Hello everyone, I'm Tenth Dr. Matt, and welcome to the very first edition of Tenant Hair Tips. Now, um, this video is going to be geared towards those who, not unlike myself, have um, frizzy or coarse or otherwise uh, difficult to manage hair. So basically what I'm going to be doing here is going through and basically kind of sharing my daily hair routine with you guys um, and giving you some, some just helpful tips on how to make your hair softer and easier to work with. Now, my hair routine has changed quite a bit over like the past year um, from when I started this channel and I've, you know, how I've really been working on basically perfecting uh, the tenant hairstyles and you know, a lot of them are tough to do for me because my hair is not only curly naturally but it is coarse it's very thick um, I have the two cowlicks that I bitch about all the time um, so I've really started kind of asking my stylist some questions when I go to get haircuts and doing a little bit of research on how to manage this thing Speaking of which, uh, as you can see, I don't currently have a tenant hairstyle today. This is just what my hair looks like on Sunday when I'm lazy. Anyway, so let's jump right into the tips. One, you need to get yourself a good pair of shampoo and conditioner. Do not use one of those 75 in one for men shampoo, conditioner, body wash, shave gel, tire shine, whatever else they put in those things. Don't use them. They suck. They usually strip your hair. Um, they don't moisturize it enough. And it's just, there's too much crap going on in that bottle. So skip those. And what you want to look for instead, um, with the coarse and frizzy hair folks, we want to look for something um, with some good essential oils in it. So these are what I'm currently using. Uh, the brand is OGX. I found these at my local Target. They were about $5.50 or $6 a piece. Um, so really reasonable price for some really good quality shampoo. Now this is something that I have been asking uh, my stylist recently and basically from her professional opinion, uh, the shampoos and conditioners that are the absolute best for your hair are ones like these that contain argan oil. Um, apparently a lot of those are from Morocco because a lot of the argan oil stuff that I see says Moroccan argan oil. Whatever. So the other good stuff that apparently is not quite as good as argan oil but is still really good for your hair, um, coconut oil, tea tree oil, avocado oil, basically anything like that that you're going to see um, that is considered to be a moisturizing shampoo is going to help you a lot with the coarseness and frizziness. Um, you don't really want to look for something that's like super clean because that usually strips your hair pretty rough um, and uh, you know so you really want to look for something that's moisturizing that's going to add some weight to your hair it's going to add the extra moisture to help get it uh, softer the issue with a lot of these is that they're very expensive I mean you can like if you're in a salon I've seen bottles like similar to this size for $25 each which I'm sorry, but I'm not going to spend $50 on shampoo and conditioner that I'm going to need to buy again in a month. So that's why I did some looking around and apparently this stuff is a good brand. It's cheap, so I spent about $10, $11 total. Um, and so, it, I, so far they've been really good. They smell great. My hair is nice and soft after showering. So uh, definitely get yourself some Moroccan Argan Oil shampoo and conditioner. Now, when you use these shampoos, what I've noticed is that you don't need much. So, which is nice because the bottle's generally a little smaller, but a little goes a long way. So I really only have to use maybe like a, a quarter sized amount, maybe even less, um, of both the shampoo and the conditioner versus others where you have to like really get like a handful, basically. Now, when you're actually washing your hair, what you want to make sure you do, um, first when you're using the shampoo, just make sure you lather it up real nice, kind of give yourself a little head massage just so that you really kind of work out any product that you had in from the day before or whatever. And then what you want to really make sure you do is put the conditioner in and let it sit in there for at least a couple of minutes. Because if you put it in and wash it out right away, it's not going to be able to have time to basically get in there and moisturize your hair. So just make sure you let it sit for a couple of minutes before you wash it out. Okay, so the next thing, B, no, sorry, two, 
when you get out of the shower, remember in my first couple of tenant hair videos when I told you to basically vigorously towel dry your hair? Yeah, uh, you don't really want to do that. That was pretty much bad advice. Uh, that was what I used to do every day myself uh, before I started really learning about this stuff. So if you do that, uh, if you think about it, really what you're doing, you have this sort of rough towel and you're just going crazy on your hair and so if your hair is already like a rough texture, you're going to be making it rougher. I mean it's, you know, it, it's pulling on your hair when you do that and it's sort of, it's like putting a cheese grater to your head. So yeah, don't, don't do that. Instead, uh, when you get out of the shower, you want to leave your hair actually like pretty much soaking wet. So you're gonna just take your towel and just kind of gently pat around a little bit just to dry off enough so you're not like dripping water all over the place, basically. So once your hair is a little bit dry but still pretty much soaking wet, we're gonna move on to the next step. Three, or C, anti-frizz serum. Now, this is another one of those things that there are quite a few of them out there on the market, but from what I've heard, this Frizzies brand is pretty good. Um, they themselves have a couple of different ones. Uh, I think one was like regular, and this one is the Extra Strength. Um, I went with the Extra Strength one because I didn't really know which one to pick, but I figured, well, my hair is pretty frizzy and annoying, so I might as well go for the strong stuff. So I really can't say from personal experience how the regular stuff is comparatively, um, but I can say that this stuff is freaking awesome. So uh, basically what the serum does is two things. One, it's going to make your hair softer and obviously help alleviate some of the frizz. And two, it actually has some of that thermal stuff in it, so it helps protect your hair from being heat treated, which we're going to be doing later anyway. So you get kind of a two for one with the anti-frizz serum. So the way that that stuff works, uh, once you get out of the shower and you've patted your head a little bit dry, but it's still like soaking wet, you take a very, very tiny amount of that stuff. Now I'm, it says right on the bottle, like basically you never have to use more than one pump. Uh, and considering that our hair is pretty short compared to like some women or men with, with longer hair that might be using it, I use probably like a half of a, a pump. And, and you just kind of rub it in your hands like this and you just work it through your whole head. Um, now it says on the bottle to avoid putting it directly on just the roots. Uh, that's not really a problem for us again because it's not like we have super long hair that we could just like put it right in the center of the roots. That's not a problem. So I, I haven't had any issues with it. It's been great. So you just do that. You work it in for a few seconds and then basically what I do afterwards, I just comb my hair just to make sure it gets through nice and evenly. So now now that we've had a good wash and we've patted it dry and we've put in our anti-frizz serum but our hair is still soaking wet at this point and since we're not towel drying it that moves us to step four or D which is you need to get yourself a good blow dryer. Now I used to be totally against blow dryers for some reason, mostly because the one that I had before was like a shitty thousand year old one that had one setting and it basically just blasted super heated air at my head and it would just make my hair even more frizzy. So at that time I said, well, forget about that, I'll just use a towel. But what you want to look for in a good hair dryer is that it's an ion blow dryer. So this is the one that I got. It was literally $20 at Target. So it, you're not gonna have to break the bank here. I mean, there are some crazy hair dryers that are like a couple hundred bucks that I'm sure some professional uh, stylists or barbers or whatever might want those. Uh, but I for one didn't want to spend that much money on a hair dryer. But luckily this one, again, this was at Target. It was 20 bucks and this thing is freaking awesome. So it has uh, three settings for heat. It has cool, warm, and hot. And then it has both low and high settings. So uh, according to the box and people who uh, uh, know this stuff, uh, apparently the best setting for people like us with curly slash frizzy slash coarse hair who want to make it straighter and softer, we are going to use the warm setting on high. Um, if you have, if you put the heat on hot, 
Um, it's going to dry your hair faster, but apparently that creates more volume, so that's good if you want to keep the curls, I guess? I don't know. And the cool, I really don't know what that's for, unless it's like summer and you're just hot and, and you want cool air blowing on your head. I, I really don't know, so stick with warm on high. Now, this funky looking thing on the front, that's not um, always on there. You know, typically your hair dryer looks like this. And this little doodad is called a concentrator. Um, so this the hair dryer comes with it. It also comes with a really crazy looking round thing with like spikes on it that apparently that is for uh, uh, volumizing. So I, I don't use that one. But apparently this concentrator, since it's obviously it's going to be blowing the air out in more of like a flat fan thing instead of a round column. Um, supposedly what the concentrator does is it helps uh, flatten out your hair so it, it helps kind of pre-straighten it a little bit. That there is the spiky thing I was talking about. Apparently that's called a diffuser. But I, I, again, I don't, I don't use that. Now, you may be wondering why we need ions blown out around our head with a hairdryer, and um, I guess what they do is that the ions in the airflow help uh, to sort of flatten out the cuticles of your hair, and so basically that's going to help eliminate the frizz. So it's going to make your hair uh, a little bit more sleek and shiny, and it's not going to puff your hair up. So you're eliminating the frizz rather than adding the frizz. So truth be told, I really think that the hair dryer is one of the most important parts of this sort of routine or collection of things that we're going to be doing to our hair. Um, because I, I really have found, I, I enjoy blow drying my hair now, I'm not going to lie. Uh, because first of all, it feels nice with the, the warm air and stuff, but it does, it totally makes my hair less frizzy, it's nice, it comes out like super soft after. And it really helps even, you know, if there's a day that I don't feel like styling my hair and I just want to leave it like on the weekend if I want to just kind of let it rest and not put any products in it, the hair dryer helps it still look presentable, so I still, I won't mind like going out of the house with unstyled hair. Um, whereas if I just let my hair dry naturally, it gets like real curly and things are sticking out places, so it gets pretty wacky. So get a decent hair dryer for 20 bucks, you will not regret it. So that's pretty much it. Um, obviously once I've blow dried my hair, then I go on to straighten it and style it, but we already know that from the tenant hair styling videos, so I wouldn't really call the straightener uh, uh, one of the tips to help eliminate frizz and stuff. That's just more of a styling element, so that's why that's not included in this video. But um, I really hope that this video was helpful to any of you who also have crazy, difficult to manage hair like I do. Now, I don't know if it's a combination of the shampoo and the serum and the hair dryer, or if it's any one of those things individually, but whatever it is, the, my whole routine now, it works. I mean, uh, like I said before, my hair is way softer, it's a lot less frizzy, it feels much less coarse, it's, uh, you know, it has like a nice shine to it when it's done, so, um, you know, I, this, I feel like this is probably not a thing that uh, a lot of men worry about with their hair, but if you think about it, any of the folks who do do this, whether they're men or women or whatever, they have great looking hair. We can't deny that, so we need to learn something from those people and start doing this stuff and taking good care of our hair, because I, for one, don't want to go bald. So uh, I want to have really nice hair and I want to be doing the tenant hairstyle for a long time and this stuff is helping me do that in like a tremendous way. So I hope that this video was informative. I hope it's helpful for you guys and as always thank you so much for watching.